This is not financial advice. I just hope a bunch of oven miss, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now hit that like button and show your boy some love. Hit that notification bell to stay tuned. Let's get straight to the point. Subscribe to the channel. And the first banger on the list is Lucid. Take your symbol LCID. Now, at the time of this recording, Lucid is the same price it was yesterday, family, because the stock market is closed on the weekend. It's $22. It's up 8% on a day. It's up 13% on the last week. And it's up over 123% in the past year. Let's get it, baby. But again, let's update on the call options from last week. You already know we in a lucid call currently, but I want to tell you this. If you in this lucid call with us and you up basically 75, 85%, this thing went up to basically $265. Discord family, let's get it. Now, if you made enough money, consider getting out of the play. But if you're ready to hold longer, you do you. But again, if you made enough, you can always get out of the play and then re-enter. Now, let's talk about it. The BBIG call again. Get in, get up, get out. Made a quick 58% on that. $72. Bow. We love to see it. If you want to be up on the plays early as we are, hit that Discord link in the top comment. So then when we run in the plays, you could be in as soon as we are. Now, let's talk about it. And again, shout out to my guy, King Rel, over on the Discord. And again, we mentioned this yesterday, but let's go into some detail today. So, he put me onto this information. And it said this. Lucid, finally, Lucid already registered approximately 10,000 VIN numbers for the 2022 Lucid Air. And this is verified information according to this tweet. Now, when you go into the nitty gritty and get down into the details, you can actually look at all of the VIN numbers and see that this is really looking legit, family. But what I want you to understand is there are two large institutions, both equally reputable, that are on totally different ends of this. So who are they? It's the Bank of America and Morgan Stanley. So one of the biggest criticisms about Lucid Motors, and again, Lucid is an EV company which is trying to compete with Tesla. Now, one of the biggest criticisms of them is that they were supposed to deliver cars earlier this spring but guess what family they delayed it and now they're supposed to deliver in 2021 before the year is out and they have yet to give us a date as to if they're gonna do it or not so it seems like it's going down in the bank of america they gave them a price target of 30 dollars because they think that they're gonna deliver on what they said but morgan stanley gave them a price target of 12 dollars family totally opposite directions we can use these two numbers to our advantage if they do deliver, we can see where large institutions think they're going and think they are worth. However, if they don't deliver, it gives us sort of a floor. So then we know, okay, should we average down at 17? No. Should we average down at 15? No. Should we average down at 12? Morgan Stanley thinks so. So this is how you use this information. Now, let's keep it going. Motor Trend Channel, which has 666. Now, you, you tell me how you feel about that. But it has 666 million subscribers, family. Now... They did a recent review of Lucid, somewhat of a review. It was more of a range test when you go and watch the video. It wasn't like one of those reviews where, oh, check out the tires. They're made out of this and this and this. It wasn't like that. It was more so of this angle that I'm showing you right here. And there's a guy, which I'm imagining is the host of Motor Trend. And he's telling you how he feels about the range and how far he drove. And it's basically just this angle right here of the car. Now, let's keep it going. Why is this important? Because according to this, which is supposed to be a verified third party reviewing the company, this went over 400 miles on a single charge and still had about 70 miles left. Again, this is why this is important. It says, which Tesla drives the longest? And currently, it's the Model S Long Range Plus, which has range of 412 miles. And apparently, the Lucid could get that far and then have over 100 miles left to still go for a total of 520 miles in optimum conditions. Now, it says... Basically, I want you to understand these three levels right here. And this is why I always show you these three levels, if not even more than three levels, so you can understand. Because somebody said to me in the comments not too long ago, Keenan, man, you know, I was watching your videos, and then I got in on the play, and then it dropped, and then I, I was out, and I sold it. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. You're telling me that you got into a play at the top, and then you sold low and didn't wait for it to come back, right? What you got to do is this. When I tell you these levels, for example, 15, 20, 23 I always tell you and I haven't said this in a long time so I'll bring it up again if you got $300 what I want you to do is break that into thirds and then you go in first go in second go in third but that don't mean necessarily hit these three lines right here what it means is this 23 this is a resistance line a resistance line means if it comes up here it's most likely going to come back down and give you a chance to get your first strike where should your first strike be in this case closer to the support line the next support line is 20 so you want to get as close to that as possible bow and then if it comes down to 15 but 
the Morgan Stanley group, they're basically telling us, no, nah, not 15. That was a recent support, but if this doesn't go the way it's supposed to go, it's going to 12. So then boom, that would be another one. So then you see hit support levels, not the resistance level. Don't buy up there. So now let's keep it going. The next banger on the list is Cardano, ticker symbol ADA. Now that all the hype has died down, you got a chance to load up on Cardano because remember, this is the third biggest cryptocurrency in the world and it is a beast, a banger. Where do you pick Cardano up? You could get it on Coinbase. I got a link in the top comment. You could get it there and let's keep it going. And if you don't see that link there, it's probably in the description, but let's keep it going. Cardano is currently 230. Remember, it got all the way up basically 2000% this year, family. Crazy, absolutely crazy. And it went up to 310. Right, but it came all the way back down. And why did they drop? So you could pick it up. That's why they dropped. So now they got a price target. They're saying that they're going to three dollars by 2021, five dollars by 2023, and then ten dollars by 2026. However, remember when you get into a crypto play, especially like this. And why do I say Cardano in particular? Because Cardano, in my opinion, is not a swing trade. Cardano is an investment. A swing trade is a get in, get up, get out. Right? Play the play the volatility. But when you invest into Cardano, you got to be ready for 80% swings, 80% drops, and 80% rises. Right? However, it's gonna swing. It's a cryptocurrency. Anybody that's been in crypto long term, they're going to tell you that. But let's go over to the Daily Hodl. This is a website, and they said this. Cardano says it's preparing to launch its own platform after completing the upgrade last week. What is the upgrade? The Alonzo hard fork that made a few things possible. First of all, applications, NFTs, those non-fungible tokens, and basically all kind of different smart contracts, family. Now, let's see what's going on over here. On September 17th, 2021, there are currently... At that point in time, 2,300 smart contracts that are unusable. This is a new thing for Cardano to have smart contracts because they're locked in a time lock contract. And then apparently they're saying that the weight on the smart contracts may be affecting the price. And remember, if you're not in a play at all, it's affecting the price. So you could load up, baby. Now, Cardano is still the third largest among all of the crypto. That means there's only Ethereum and then Bitcoin ahead of Cardano, but it's significantly less than both of those in terms of how much it's worth totally. So then that means it has a lot more potential to grow, especially when the big dogs come in. And speaking of the big dogs, Cardano said in a recent online presentation that they have short and long-term goals. And what are those goals? They highlighted the significance of having large organizations basically adopt Cardano and they're going to focus the next year and a half to onboarding 50 banks to using Cardano. We want to see that. Be on the lookout for that. And then Grayscale, which has a huge crypto fund. This is a large institution who manages a lot of cryptocurrency. They basically, and look at this in blue. I highlighted this in blue just for you. They sold then existing constituents, a lot of cryptocurrency that they had and used the proceeds to buy ADA. And they've been doing it since at least July 2nd. Now, look at these levels again. Remember, when I tell you to you look at these levels, I'm not telling you go pick it up at the resistance. I'm telling you to let it come down to the support, baby. Now, pay attention to this. 310 is a resistance. I'm not saying buy it there. I'm saying if it hits there, let it come down so it could pick you up and you could go on ride. So now, next support is about 230. So if you got $300, Bow, you could consider putting your first strike around this range. And then you want to preferably get this under $2. We may never see it again. This is why this is an investment and you average in using dollar cost averaging. If you get paid on Friday, bow, $50 on Friday, bow, $50 next Friday, and just slowly build a position. That's how we rocking out with cryptocurrency. Now, let's get to the beast, the big dog, the banger, and it's Tesla. Ticker symbol T-S-L-A. Currently $759. The reason I want you to consider Tesla is because you have to invest in the future, family. You want to think about your kids. You want to think about your retirement. You want to think about your future and say, you know what? EVs are going to be the majority of the world. And so far, Tesla, and what I mean by the majority of the world, they're going to be just spread out through the majority of the, of the world more than they are today. They're like two to three percent of all of the cars today, but you can imagine one day it's gonna be 10 percent, 20 percent, something like that, or even higher than that. You want a piece of the pie. So now take a look at this. We heard that Kathy Woods, who is basically the leader of ARK Invest and the CEO, who was killing it all 2020, she basically sold in the last month 297 million worth of Tesla family. But Notice this, because a lot of people aren't saying this. They're just talking about her selling out of it. They said that Tesla remains ARK Invest's biggest holding. It's their biggest holding even after they sold so much of it. So they still believe in the play. They just wanted to rebalance their portfolios. It's as simple as that. So now, again, 
keep keep your eye on what's going on, family. Let's just keep it simple because the big dogs, they still loading up on this on the dark pool. When you go to the dark pool, there's 19.4 billion in buying over on the dark pool. So no matter what they want you to believe, the mainstream media, even the big investors who claim that they're shorting the stock, they still believe in the long term. The price targets, they just got some higher price targets. Morgan Stanley said this is going to 928 days ago. And then Webb Bush said this is going to 1,000 just four days ago, family. Come on now. What are the levels I want you to pay attention to for Tesla? Currently, 760 is a resistance. What do I mean by that? I mean, if it comes up there, it's likely, not guaranteed, but likely to come back down to give you a slightly better entry. So you can look to pick this up in the 730 range for a first strike. Bow! First strike. If you want to strike now, get some skin in the game, you could do what you want. But if you're looking for an optimum, just basically entry point for your first strike of three, then boom, I would say 730 is a really solid entry. But preferably, if you get this in the 600s, this is where we would really load up, baby. But if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds. Hit that Discord link in the top comment. I'll see you over there, baby. I love y'all. Take care.